Good morning guys! Today we go somewhere very special and that place is Tübingen! So guys, as always, I need to catch my train, but just before I take the train, I just want to give you a few more information in regards to Tübingen. So I studied there for three semesters, so one and a half years, and it really changed so much in my life. Like I came back to art again. There's another story I will tell you once we are there. And yeah, today I just want to honor that place, go there, go to places that I always wanted to visit when I was a student there. Just experience that city once again. I'll tell you more about Tübingen once we are there. So yeah, see you in a few minutes. Tübingen rekindled my love for art again. With 19 I did my Abitur and after that I immediately started to go to university and I came here to Tübingen. You have to know during Abitur, during school time, I always had art classes like two hours per week so I always had that regular relationship with art but once I started to study here, of course, the subject that I did had nothing to do with art, so art was on hold for me. After a while, I realized that there was this Zeichen Institute, and so I started taking a few classes every now and then. And it was a very humbling experience because you have to know, like during school time, I was one of those who always were better at art. But when I came here to take some courses, this university is big, so we you have people of all ages, of all types of experience here. And when I came to my very first course here, yeah, it was drawing, I was like, oh, like there are people that are so much better at what I like, I love, like art. And it took me a while to know how to deal with that type of feeling because whenever someone was better at something, I always felt like, okay, now it's competition time. I never was taught that it's okay if someone is better at something than you. It doesn't take away anything from you. And today I know that's okay. There will always be someone who's better at what you enjoy. And that's never the point of pursuing art, that you become the best at whatever you do. At least I think so. So yeah, after three semesters, I knew like, okay, I need to take a different path. And other things had changed about me, my personality and all of that. So I knew it was time to go and take another road. Tungen always will be in my heart for bringing me back to art. And that's what I'm here for, just to reconnect with this place and be grateful for what it gave me or gifted me with so yeah i'm gonna take you out i'm just gonna show you a little bit more around let's see what else we discover oh and by the way the university right now is like super empty because the time that i'm visiting it's like holiday time winter term has not started yet actually this place would otherwise be full it's like the whole city would be full of students but right now it's very very quiet
Hi, voiceover monkey here. I think it's time to also tell you a little bit more about Tübingen itself. Tübingen lies in the heart of southern Germany. This beautiful place is famous for its vibrant old town with its half-timbered houses in a rich medieval city center. Along the Neckar River, which flows through the city, you can find Tübingen's traditional punt boats. And of course, there's the renowned Eberhard Karl University, a cornerstone of Tübingen's identity. With over 200 degree programs, the university's presence is felt throughout the city and its faculties can be found all over town. Now for me this visit is a unique experience because having changed universities over five years ago I'm returning to Tübingen not as a student but almost as a tourist. Today we are going to explore the city in a way I never did as a student. So join me as we stroll through this beautiful city and of course sketch. I think I have not mentioned it often enough but we always sketch, we always make art in our videos. So I just want to make this clear right here. And watching these video clips fills my heart with joy and I hope you find as much happiness in them as I did while revisiting my beautiful Tübingen. So thank you for joining me today once again. Of this quiet town, I see you there, your feathers on the ground. Your eyes are heavy with the weight of the world. What's in a life you never could offer? Even if you never flown before. Can take a chance and try once more. Don't let your worries weigh you down, down, down. You can still take five, although you're earthbound. She put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone But she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survive the wheel Even though she could knock down and never show
This is the place where we are gonna sketch. So I'm gonna set up everything and we are currently at the Neckar Park. So it's this park right here. When we took the Stocherfahrt, we went along this way. This is like the main park in Tübingen. It's just in between the Neckar. And I'm gonna sketch this place here. I hope you can see this. This is our beautiful picnic blanket right here. We're gonna be super comfortable. I'm gonna take out everything. So let's see here. Whoa. Hi. Sketching materials and sketchbook. Let's go. Okay, so my sketchbook is right here with me. And here I have my art supplies. I'm gonna use my pen first. And as always, everything is linked down below. So I'm gonna quickly start with a sketch. And then, as always, we're gonna add some water color. So that's the pen for right now. And this is my view. So since the place I'm sitting on is quite chief, <laughs> I won't have the best camera perspective, but bear with me. The beginning is always the hardest because I have to figure out what perspective I want to take in. I want slow love, uncomplicated touch, stable as we go. Consistent as we grow, I want slow love. No need to rush. I say it in my dreams. Strangers in my sea, I reminisce. They call. I'm done with the sketch part for now. The sketching part always takes longer for me, so I'm I'm excited that the painting part won't take as long. Wanna be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. 
need you more, need you here More than I would like to admit Let's forget about tomorrow, yeah Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over, yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot It's almost like I can't stop Can't stop, yeah, yeah You never lose an argument So I've been trying hard to pretend so guys, I'm gonna do something very fun with this brush. Hold on, okay. I am done with the painting part. I'm very happy with how it looks. It's very colorful. I very enjoyed it. And now I just wanna work on the sky and I have a very nice technique. Okay, so what we need here for is a color that you like to use. So I think I wanna go with a very nice blue maybe that mixture that i have right here hold on so i'm just mixing this up to create a little bit more water see a little bit more blue oh that looks nice and what about this blue how does this look if we add this that's ah, okay how about that green oh that's what i want this color so i have now a lot of color with a lot of water and what we're gonna do is you need a paper i always have an extra paper in my sketchbook i cover the part that i don't want to sprinkle because we're gonna sprinkle some color with this brush i don't want to get it all over the houses so what you're gonna do is take your brush and dip it into the color like that so that's soaking wet like that i always like to take a little bit more color a little bit more green okay that's good that's what we do Ooh. Do you see this? Do you see this texture right here? But sometimes I just wanna create some more texture and that's what I like. Yeah. You would find a new distraction. I need you more, need you here. More than I would like to admit. Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot, it's almost like I can't stop, can't stop Thank you. 
stitches.